Hi guys, I'm currently heading to the airport as I'm heading to the south of Italy, to Puglia for, I cannot say I'm going there for holiday, for vacation as I will be working but that's surely like a break from the uh, from the city and the daily, the daily routine I'll be there for like a week so I'm planning to showing you what I'll be wearing through my stay there. So at least seven looks, at least, but maybe it will be more. But we will see. We will see how things um, how things go. It's Tuesday morning and it's quite early, um, but there's not that much of a traffic. I thought that we will be stuck a bit more uh, knowing the streets that leads to the airport to me to uh, milano's airport but maybe it's because it's also like the first day of uh, august so that's the reason why but it's better it's better it's better for sure the trips looks it's actually very comfy but i like it it's like a sat as well shirt and shorts sat in this light um light blue color i think this shade suits me um i don't know if it just like the Net nike air force <laughs> those are ones that i wear with the uh es france socks that's it officially done it's quite late since I always try to um, escape for a bit to the sea also in June or July but um, August it is this year uh, but I cannot complain as it is kind of quiet I mean I I suppose I thought there would have been much more tourists I don't know why I mean I like it to be quite this quiet and then relaxing Pretty late because it's like seven something uh, I'm heading to the city center I wanted to show you what I'm wearing of course this mesh sweater from Zara which is long sleeve and has cuts like let's say cuts on the the bottom below you can see it's the um, skims fits everyone scoop bralette and this I think it's colored like tangerine when I bought this online I thought it would be like a softer um, tangerine more like in the pastel tones but it's actually very very fluid it's so bright and I also have the matching um, bottom um, I'm wearing my um, vintage Levi's shorts which I think I have since I was like 15 years old and they're still going strong. They're like my favorite, uh, my favorite pair. Just those um, sandals, which are actually um, artisanal. So that's it. And of course, my um, white bag, that's it. cherry dress with all the um, cherry patterns all over and it's from Allister and I very much love to uh, pair it with like black accessories just like the sunglasses black bag 
um, and plain white sneakers and ankle socks. the most it's definitely man tailored shirts like this one i love how they are cut i love their fit um and of course 99 percent of the time those are vintage mine are, are all vintage from my father's or grandfather's uh closet because they are like unmatchable in my honest opinion and then i just have a bikini uh top underneath and a mini mini skirt this is from um Vashka and it's like satin satin effect and and of course this mini bag vlogs will be like windy vlogs as there is always wind here in this part of Puglia which is called Salento uh, they say to describe it um, lu sole, lu mare, lu yentu, that means the sun the sea and the wind and I think that that's the perfect way of describing um, this place totally 100% there is wind like um, Monday to Sunday every week anyway it's now late in the evening it's like 7 p.m um i finished working i finished my uh work day of course and i'm just relaxing on the terrace a bit i'm also starving today and i can't wait to eat pizza tonight it's pizza night it's pizza party um so yes i can't wait but still i got a I still got a bit of time before um, before dinner, of course. Um, I love what I'm wearing today. Just this cute set, matching set with t-shirt and uh, shorts. That's from the brand Baby Angel, which is a brand that I actually never heard of. Um, and I don't think I ever seen uh, online. I think that's appropriate name for for this set i don't know why i love the name baby angel it's so cute and and my fit i'm wearing shoes that can be described as man repellers for most like for many people but are shoes that i always loved and yes i mean i think you're already thinking of that shoes so i'm wearing birkenstocks i'm wearing white birkenstocks uh, but i mean they are so nice they are so comfy and i don't think they are that ugly I keep wearing them forever i remember myself being like a kid wearing the um i don't know how they could like the one with the tongue but sandal version so that my feet wouldn't slip away very funny but i always love them um so yeah like come on guys look at them i'm also taking a walk in them for you but like come on i wanted also to show you the sunscreen that i'm using at the eyes whereby i always use the event products um both for the body and my face and i use this one that's 30 F uh, spf 30 I use this little uh, 50 uh, plus for the face and for the most sensitive parts of my body. Um, it's 
yep. I of course always use also the after sun um, that it's from a van too let me show it to you this one which I also love because it's not too sticky on the skin which is like a sensation that I really hate actually okay now I'm off to pizza I have to go and buy pizza and look at them come on it's so cute let's go wearing my little black dress strappy little black dress with uh, lace details from Topshop at my feet I just got like short heels tongue mules has the city center has like cobblestone streets um, which are very slippery and as I'm prone to falling unfortunately I'm always on the ground I don't know wish to fall um, when I was a teenager, I came here with high-heeled sandals and I always found myself on the ground, which is not very nice. So now I always tend to put like short heels when I, I come here, even though I love wearing high heels. I think they're very nice, but um, I prefer to be upstanding than on the ground, of course. And as a bag, I'm just wearing this nylon one um that i got from the store called nogi for me today as I could not very much sleep without any I mean any reason why so yes I'm just chilly so I'm sat here on a bench wearing my little baby tee with red roses and long linen um, pants and on my feet just like those beige neutral and um, abahanas Oh, and the tea, it's from Bershka, while the pants are actually like thrifted or vintage, I don't know where they are actually from. So this is the book that I'm currently reading, The Murders at Freight House by Lucinda Riley. I didn't know her before uh, buying this book, but uh, it's said that um, she's I mean, well known, a well-known writer, um, and this is actually her only crime book so the book is set in this boarding school where um a boy unfortunately dies and they have to investigate um his death of course uh, i'm like um, halfway through the book now and i am enjoying it as it is such a light read it's very it's very enjoyable and it flows easily but i will come back to you and tell you my uh, opinions once i'm done and one of the reasons why i bought this book is because it's in england in norfolk never been to norfolk actually but i love england um and so now i would love to go to norfolk i don't know if there is anything there apart from like lands gloomy lands as they are described here but i guess yes 
very small. There is just one thing I complain of, and that's the book itself. It's really bulky. I mean, look at this, it's very heavy, and also it's really big font. I mean, I think they should have reduced the font and make it easier to carry around because, like, it's heavy. And it's not that long, but I mean, I always have to complain, so that's probably just me. Finally have my morning coffee and look how cute this cup is with a little flower. I love it. I just got back from dinner and I'm in my pyjama with is this my and t-shirt. But like there is something in my mind that I like to share with you and it's like I'm here in Puglia alone. I mean, it's not that I'm alone because I'm lucky enough to be staying with um, people that I consider my family. But I'm here alone, meaning that there is no friends here with me. It's just me working to six Monday to Friday. Um, so like, yes, it's not saying that I'm alone, but I'm basically alone. When I go out, I go out alone. If I'd like to eat something uh, rather than staying at home eating, I am alone. Um, and I understand that going out, eating alone in a one <laughs> person table can be hard i totally get that it's not easy but i'm doing that here uh if i want to eat pizza if i want to have like something special that i cannot eat at home i'm going out i'm completely alone um i think this would have bothered me some years ago but now I feel like I understood the importance to do things alone, things that we enjoy uh, with our own company. Um, I had dinner um, by myself. I enjoyed my meal so much. Um, like on my lunch break, I tend to always go to the beach and have my break there just to have a bath and just to enjoy the sun and i'm alone i'm not complaining because i cannot complain i'm happy to be here um but sometimes i can understand that um this can be a trigger for for a lot of people it's not as easy as it may seem I, and i understand that because i know that and i'm the first to to say that it's easier said than done as most of things in life. Like it's easy to say I'm going out for dinner, I'm by myself. And then being there at the table alone when you are the only one alone and when you look at everyone else here out eating with their uh, special one, with their family, with their friends. But like, we have to enjoy, I, I mean, I got to the point where I realized that we have to enjoy alone time because I think that in order for us to like feel ourselves at our best with other people, um, we have to feel the best when we are alone, when we are with our company in in our company and that's it but yes i don't know i was out eating and this thing came to my mind because i was actually the only person alone eating um in the restaurant so yeah i mean i think that it's like we have 
to yeah i mean i know it's art it's art it's not something that maybe you say well i'm just gonna eat at home because there is no one that can go or wants to come with me out but let's go i mean we have to try we have to push ourselves um and enjoy things so yes yeah, just i just got I've got this in my mind and um, I just wanted to share this with you because maybe lots of you uh, have been or will be or are in the same position that um, I am as of now. Um, and I mean, we can do this. We can enjoy our time as much as we enjoy time out with our uh, friends. We are social beings because us human beings are social we love to be with people we love to be surrounded by people but maybe it cannot always be possible so yeah let's enjoy our comp our company just take a book or i don't know also go on instagram on twitter facebook uh, pinterest why not pinterest so yeah i enjoyed my own company too much rumbling for me tonight so i will see you guys tomorrow dinner ready in my old white fit for the night I'm wearing this vest that it's like in jacquard, the infamous parachute pants in cotton, Bershka. I actually got them in all the colors available. I mean, I have them in white, black, green, and cotton, and then I have also them in nylon. Because I love the ones from local European, but they are always sold out. Uh, so it's very hard to um, find them and those were the closest one I think the one that I like the most apart from the motel rocks and also I think they have such a cute fit they are oversized clearly but not that much and also they are not that see-through that's nice and on my feet I have this lace up kind of sandals from Paris Texas they are um from, they are like kitten eels, very short, but very nice. And as a bag, I just got this tiny, tiny pouch with flower patterns. If I'm not mistaken, it's like from Monkey, but season, season ago.